untamed and uncut. Winter in the Antarctic Peninsula. Tom and Sharon Merritt are aboard a tour ship and the sights are breathtaking. <laughs> Suddenly, over the loudspeaker, the announcement they'd hoped for. Orca spotted. The Merritts and the rest of the passengers race to the ship's bridge level. What they witness is an event so rare, it's been documented by scientists only 13 times. And never photographed. These orca are going to attack this seal. A family of orcas has set its sights on a crab-eater seal resting on an ice floe. Watch as the orcas raise their massive eight-ton bodies vertically to peek over the ice floe. Whale biologist Dr. Ingrid Visser says the movement is called spy hopping. The ice floe was about 25 feet square, uh, but it kept getting smaller, I think, through the action of the orca. And it appears they don't like the location of the floe either. The orcas attempt to isolate it from nearby floes. They're twisting the ice. Seven-eighths of the ice flow is actually below the surface. But these behemoth creatures are able to use their strength to strategically position the flow. They spin the ice around and they move other pieces of ice away so that they can line it up perfectly to make the biggest wave possible. This highly sophisticated hunting technique is used mostly to help teach young calves how to hunt. Using her blowhole, the matriarch of the pod sends out vocal signals to summon other adult orcas to line up perfectly and then charge the ice, swimming at speeds up to 35 miles an hour. The wave created hurls the doomed seal to the other end, where a hungry orca anticipates a fresh meal. With the second largest brain in the animal kingdom, the orcas are very intelligent. They craft a plan. With a series of clicks and whistles to communicate, the matriarch brings in more members of the pod. Watch carefully as these orcas execute with perfect synchronization. Oh, yeah, here they go. There were five orca. One orca is sitting stationary and it blows this big burst of bubbles, which we think was actually the cue to tell the other orca to come in. You can actually see how the wave created by the crafty orca will simply slide the seal off the flow. It's all over. No, not huh? Yeah, it's all over. If I had some pangs of pain for the plight of that poor crab eater seal, I really felt a sense of victory for the orca too. I've always been amazed at what animals can accomplish, but I'm certain that that's the most astounding cooperation among sea life that I've ever seen. Untamed and uncut, only on Animal Planet.